Hey there! In this video, I want to show you how to make over this cube shelf and turn it into a kitchen island on wheels. It's Mindy, and let's get started. Making over the cube organizer itself is pretty simple. This cube shelf is from Walmart, so it has a lip on it if you're weird aware of this brand. What I did is peel off the top layer and then sand it down so that the top surface is level. And I'm going to attach this hardboard to the back using some construction adhesive and my nail gun. You could also do this with an Ikea cube organizer, which I think even comes out cheaper than the Walmart brand. So this is the adhesive I'm using. This is the Loctite brand and I got it from Home Depot. This specific one is made especially for particle board and wall panels and the like. So I'll try to link that in the description for you. And I used my nail gun to tack it in place until it dried completely. So once my back panel was on and dry, I added these caster wheels that I got from Amazon and they do come with a screw that has a bolt but they're not long enough to attach it from the inside so I got some wood screws and washers and attached them like this. along with the paneling to give the back a nice clean finish i added some primed wood boards these are two by three and i created pilot holes and i did a countersink hole before attaching this with screws and the same construction adhesive And I'll show you in just a second a close up on how I did the countersink holes. Here's the close up now. So first I drilled my pilot hole with just a standard drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the screw I'm using and changed out that drill bit to use the countersink which you can find at the hardware store or online. They generally come in a pack of different sizes so depending on the screw size you can use a different one. And you just use this to enlarge the hole basically so that the screw head will sink in and be flush with the wood. So here is the back of my island all framed out and I'm using this caulking to fill in the gaps that are created from attaching those uh, frame pieces on the sides of the paneling. And I'm not fancy, I just use my finger to uh, keep that caulking in place and have a nice clean line. So here is the back of my island with one coat of black paint on there. I used a bare brand that is a paint and primer and it took about three coats to fully cover this and the color that I use is called Limousine Leather. I will also try to link that in the description. So 
So I did also make a plywood countertop to attach to the top of my island as a bar top and seating area, but first I wanted to show you how I made over these bar stools that I found on Facebook Marketplace for just $10 for the set. So this is pretty simple. I just disassembled the stools. I removed the existing fabric, which is like a faux leather and it was pretty beat up. So I just used my flathead screwdriver to take out all the staples and my scissors to cut away the fabric. So here's the fabric that I used to recover my stools. This is just a simple cream color fabric from Walmart. It's an indoor outdoor fabric um, and it was cheap, less than $7 a yard. So that was an easy decision there. <laughs> but because this um, foam that was on the bench seat was so yellow, I also added um, a piece of batting just so that you would not be able to see through the fabric. So as far as the upholstery goes, I didn't do anything fancy. I just stapled on one side, flipped to the other side, made sure it was even and pulled it taut but not too tight, stapled that side, and I did this on all sides until I had the entire thing stapled on. And of course you want to cut away excess fabric when you're upholstering because you don't want it to be too bulky, especially with a stool like this. And when I got to the corners, I just did a simple fold. This is kind of like wrapping a gift. I just folded in the excess fabric, pulled it over until the corner was pleated and stapled that down. And I didn't show this, but I did use that same um, black material that was on there to recover the bottom. So for the base of my stools, I wanted it to match the island, so I did use a satin black spray paint, and this is Rust-Oleum. I always use this brand because I just love how it covers, and I did go ahead and sand lightly before I spray painted just to get a little bit of that finish off. So for my countertop DIY, I started out with a 3 quarter inch plywood and I just added a frame around the border with this um, wood trim. It's called a stop and you can get it for about a dollar a yard at the hardware store. So I just cut it, mitered the corners and added each piece on with some wood glue and my nail gun. And to finish off my countertop, I use this varathane, polyurethane. This is a water-based um, sealer, and I like using this because it's very low odor and it finishes beautifully. So I used my foam brush and did three coats of this, um, sanding in between each coat. And I am so happy with the finish on this countertop. Uh, one thing I did not mention, but I'll show you here on the side of the screen, is I did go and fill in 
the holes that I made with the nail gun with some wood filler as well as the uh, spaces where the plywood and the wood trim meet. So to finish off my island, I used that construction adhesive once again, and I might have been a little bit heavy handed, but this is going to be used by my kids and I need it to be very sturdy. So I enlisted the help of my husband to get this positioned and on nice and straight. And my countertop is 24 inches by 60 inches, just in case you're wondering. So there's about a nine inch hangover where the stools would be for seating. And this is my fancy way of putting weight on top so that the wood can adhere well with the adhesive. So here's the final look of my island on wheels with the stools. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video gave you some value or you learned something new, go ahead and give it a like and leave me a comment. If you want to stay tuned for my full kitchen makeover that will be in the next couple weeks, make sure you subscribe and come back for more home decor on a budget.